decided that putting a video camera on a wet, slippery surface is not a good idea. I'm going to make it wet for you. You're going to fall. Oopsies. Oi. This is Kylie. She's a toy poodle. Or supposed to be. Wee. She's so cute. Where's the shampoo? What shampoo do you want to use? Um, her shampoo? If we have it. She's trying to climb out. She looks like a hairy baby. She does, doesn't she? Will this be it? No. Oh, that's I don't think I have it. And it's just use the bunny. Okay. Calling a rat. You! Oh, that's the spot. Oh, I get a goal. There we go. Kai, say hello to all the people. Now when you give a dog a bath, you gotta be good. It has to be warm water so that when it touches them, they don't freeze and panic. Kind of like a bunny, but bunnies are harder because they're more sensitive. You might need a lot more water for a dog. It takes a lot more because they're bigger animals, aren't they? Huh, Cardi? Now this isn't a big dog. Big dogs are hard. You might want to use like a pool to get them or doing something. So if you're new to dogs, yeah. Get a small one here, easy to take care of. But they're more annoying. This is my baby. And they love each other. They love you. They're people persons. And I'd advise to get a toy poodle or something like that because they're not allergenic dogs. They're very good with people. And like, like I said, they're not allergenic dogs. So if you get them and you have allergies towards dogs, it's perfectly fine. Like my mom. Like we talked about before, she has allergies to dogs and cats. Yet we have one dog, two cats, and three puppies that I have to take care of. Okay, wait. Are you good enough, Kai? You ready to rinse off? Yucky. There should be another Hi, everybody. We're gonna get the soap off of you. Yeah. We're gonna get the soapy water off of you. We're gonna put nice new. There you go. We're getting it. We're getting it. As you can see, she's a bit pink in some places. I don't know if you can close up on that. But um, her hair is a bit pink in some places. <laughs> That's because my sister, which I talked about before, um, fell in painting a dog pink. So she painted my dog pink. And we are going to try and cut that out today. So you guys get to say if we didn't got it. So you can examine the pink now. There's more in her back. I don't know, you probably can't see it. It's covered in the rest of the fur and water and stuff like that. But when she's dry and nice and rinsed off, she should have no pink on her. And that's what we're aiming for. And that's what my mom's aiming for when she makes us do it. So hopefully, I can have no pink on her so I won't die tonight. Whoa, what's that, baby? She's a little doggy. Oh, hi, you got the <laughs> She's like a hairy child. She is. Oh, okay. And yes, dogs do do that. I said do do. Wee. You want a splash? Okay, I think you're done. Do you want to spray here with the body spray? Yes, the first thing to dry it off. No, what about this stuff uh, between bath and freshening spray? Okay, hold on. You gotta dry it off a little bit though. Okay. All right, uh, we need like 10 hands for this, we have four. So uh, we're gonna say goodbye to the camera now. Say bye, Kai.